so this change from increase to stagnation to decrease to then uh, reaching uh, a minimum uh, then after uh, again starting uh, so this is called cycle or more specifically this is called business cycle and uh, this is also important concept because uh, uh, as an investors, if we are able to identify the cycles uh, in the economy, uh, we can benefit uh, from this knowledge. So what is business cycles? Business cycles are fluctuations of aggregate economic activity, not a specific variable. So uh, this word is not uh, used for um, uh, for any particular specific variable but for the whole economic uh, uh, for the whole economic activity i mean for the aggregate economic activity uh, the uh, whole economy wide indicate indicators um, uh, you know are used to identify business cycle there are uh, numerous uh, economic variables some are of high frequency some are of uh, uh, low frequency i mean high frequency low frequency some some variables are daily some are weekly some are monthly quarterly yearly so uh, so business cycle is identified not uh, from any specific variable but from the whole economic uh, uh, activities so normally uh, GDP is a measure of the whole economic uh, uh, output or the uh, that measures the economic activity at the whole economy level. So business cycle is also identified using, uh, using GDP numbers uh, mostly because GDP is the measure of the economic activity, how much economic activity is happening at the aggregate economy level so in in that economy uh, uh, i mean in a particular economy there are hundreds of variables economic variables some variables may be increasing and some may be decreasing uh, but in general if all economic indicators are uh, declining that situation is called uh, a situation of recession and uh, contraction and when all economic activities are increasing uh, most of them are increasing that situation is called expansion uh, expansion uh, or uh, there are various words for this there is another word uh, recovery also so a business cycle is a swing in total national output income employment so uh, these are you know aggregate uh, economic variables whether it is national output national output means how much goods and services uh, have been uh, uh, manufactured in a particular year or in a particular uh, quarter or month, uh, whatever is the uh, frequency of the data. So national output means uh, the the value or the value in terms of rupee of the goods and services manufactured uh, in, in a particular economy. Uh, similarly, income, income is the aggregate income of all individuals and uh, institutions uh, in, in, in an economy. Similarly, employment how how many people are are employed and how what is the unemployment rate so these things are used uh, to identify business cycle so you uh, this cycle uh, usually lasts for a period of two to ten years so the business cycle may be uh, as short as uh, two years and the cycle may be complete uh, in just two years or it may persist for a longer period, uh, say for example, uh, for 10 years also. So there is no definite period that uh, business cycle will continue for this period. Uh, this is not the case. Some, some business cycles continue for a long period of time. Some recessions persist for multiple years. Some recessions uh, go away just in um, you know, one year or few years. So, uh, uh, so the the period is not defined. 
the period may vary between uh, normally between two to 10 years marked by widespread expansion or contraction in many sectors of the economy. So when economic activities increase, that period is called expansion. Expansion, and when economic activities uh, decrease, and this decrease is widespread, uh, that is called contraction. Okay, there is some disturbance. Okay. Okay, so these uh, expansions and contractions, uh, as I have mentioned, uh, is not specific to any particular specific economic variable, say, for example, inflation, or it may be stock market, uh, or, uh, or uh, it may be industrial output. So these are, you know, specific uh, indicators, economic indicators. But when we talk about business cycles, business cycles are uh, widespread. Uh, in all sectors of the economy. The whole economy uh, sometimes expands and sometimes contracts. And the period of uh, expansion, uh, it passes through period of expansion and contraction. And this uh, is called business cycle. So there are expansion and contractions, two main phases of business cycle. So there are two, basically two main phases in business cycle. Uh, when economic activities increase, that phase is called expansions. And when economic activities uh, decrease in the economy, that phase of business cycle is called contraction. Contraction. So aggregate economic activity declines in a contraction or recession until it reaches a trough. So uh, the contraction period or the contraction phase is also known as, known as recession. For example, in uh, the global economy um, uh, faced uh, uh, the big, uh, one of the biggest recession of all time. <clears throat> Similarly, in 1929, the whole world experienced um, uh, a recession, global recession. Recently, we have experienced uh, in 2008, and uh, uh, the uh, the con this business cycle may be specific to a particular region also. Say, for example, in in Asia, uh, in in uh, Middle East, or some things like that. And some some of the recessions are so severe that they are widespread uh, throughout the globe. So uh, aggregate economic activity declines in a contraction or recession until it reaches a trough. What is trough? Trough is the minimum uh, uh, point uh, in the business cycle, the point where the economic activities uh, reaches its minimum. That point is called uh, trough. Uh, and the, and the max, uh, business cycles normally look like this. I mean, uh, they, uh, so this, this trough point, the maximum point is called peak. Peak. P E A P E A K peak, and this minimum point is called trough. T R O U G H. So peak and trough, peak and trough, peak and trough. This uh, chain keeps continue. Uh, this process uh, is a continuous process, but uh, when peak will be reached and uh, when uh, trough will be reached, the period is not defined because some, some business cycles continue for longer period of time. Some business cycles uh, may uh, vanish uh, during a, a small, uh, I mean, a very short period, for example, in, in two years also. So, so the minimum point is called trough. So when economic activities keep decreasing, and uh, they reach uh, the minimum point, that point is called trough. Or the trough is the, is the minimum point uh, after recession. So when, when uh, trough is uh, reached, from there on, the economic activities will start increasing. So at the, uh, trough is the end of the recession, uh, the end point of the recession, because after trough, recovery will start. Recovery means, from trough, uh, the economic activity now again will start increasing. 
so after trough uh, the next stage is recovery or expansion is uh, when expansion starts uh, that phase is called recovery so that is also called expansion then activity increases in an expansion or boom until it reaches a peak and when economic activities start increasing that phase is also called expansion and that phase is also called boom so boom and expansion both are used uh, interchangeably uh, these both words can be used boom recession depression recovery boom and uh, uh, expansion or boom until it reaches a peak so when economic activities are at its peak uh, that is the maximum point from there on uh, the economy the economic activities may experience uh, a declining trend a particularly severe recession is called depression when the recession is uh, very severe or um, is vi very widespread uh, the economic activities in terms of employment uh, for example in 2008 uh, millions of people lost their homes in us and other european countries they became uh, they became homeless they became penniless, they came on roads, they became bankrupt. Uh, many um, institutions, especially financial institutions, became bankrupt. And uh, they, uh, when institutions became bankrupt, all employees uh, become jobless. So uh, that was a severe uh, recession. So that can also be termed as uh, depression. Uh, when <clears throat> the situation is very severe, the contraction in the economic activity is very severe. That situation is also known as depression. So depression is severe recession, severe recession. Normal, maybe if, uh, you know, uh, if recession, is, if economic activities are reducing, but uh, the, the, the speed at which they are re reducing, the magnitude at which uh, they are economic activities decreasing is not very large. In that case, we generally term that situation as economic recession. Uh, but when this recession is severe, the word depression is used. Uh, 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 the word we use is depression. The consequence from one peak to the next or from one trough to the next is a business cycle. So the sequence from one peak to the next peak, from one trough to the next is called business cycle. Peaks are the upper uh, portion of the uh, business cycle and troughs are the lower turning points of the business cycle. So upper turning points are called peaks and lower turning points are called troughs. So graphically, how a business cycle looks, let us see, let us look at this figure. And uh, this is how a normal business cycle uh, looks. Uh, so a business cycle is not a, st a straight line, but uh, like a wave. Uh, business cycle looks like a wave. So at the uh, y axis, we have aggregate economic activity. Uh, normally, they say this is GDP. Normally, we use GDP to identify economic recession and depression and boom recovery phases. So uh, this uh, on this axis, uh, we have uh, GDP or aggregate economic activity. On the uh, X axis, we have the time period. Uh, this is time period and uh, uh, this waves uh, the business cycle is denoted by this wave. So when uh, economic activities increases, uh, this phase, uh, in this phase, economic activities are uh, increasing. So this phase is called expansion. And this expansion phase is also called, another term for uh, this expansion period uh, is boom. 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 After boom, uh, the, when economic aggregate economic activities uh, start uh, declining, that phase is called contraction. This contraction is also called recession. Recession. Uh, 
and uh, when this recession is extreme this is also called depression, depression. so uh, this minimum point is called trough so when trough is reached then uh, aggregate economic activities again starts uh, uh, increasing and this phase is also known as recovery 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 means economic activities uh, economic indicators are uh, improving have started improving that uh, phase is also called recovery so a normal uh, economic growth uh, um, i mean should look like a straight line but this does not happen in reality economic uh, uh, economies pass through business cycles where uh, sometimes economic aggregate economic activities experience expansion and uh, after expansion they reach uh, the peak or a boom and after that they start uh, decreasing the phase of uh, decrease is called contraction and recession and extreme recession is called depression then they uh, reach the trough after reaching the trough economic aggregate economic activities again start increasing and uh, that phase is called recovery and uh, after recovery then uh, the economy experiences again a boom so this is boom this is boom this is uh, uh, recession and depression this is recession depression so there are various parts depression wali condition hogi wo aapki stagnation hogi na kyunki aapki jo hai aapka recession ki stagnation tab hi hota jab aapka recession Like स्टार्ट में आ जाता है तो ये जो आपकी रिसेशन वाली जो कंडीशन होगी जिसमें आपका चार्ज जो है वो नीचे जा रहा है वो स्टेक्शन बोल सकते हैं हम लोग स्टेक्शन इज अ स्पेसिफिक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ रिसेशन एंड डिप्रेशन वेयर इकोनॉमी इज स्टेगनेंट ऑल्सो एट दिस सेम टाइम इन्फ्लेशन इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग so uh, so uh, of course that is uh, you know um, uh, depression is the you know extreme or the lowest point in the economic activity and uh, in depression <clears throat> the economic activities are uh, in their worst situation and stagflation is one of the you know uh, one of the form of depression okay sir <clears throat> okay economic variables uh, show co movement they have regular and predictable patterns of behavior over the course of the business cycle so a lot of economic variables co move with each other co move means they move together so the, if there are two variables uh, they may uh, move together or there will be correlation between their movements if one is increasing and another, another variable will also increase so this is called co movement or if one is increase uh, i mean there is some relation that that relation may be negative also so this is called uh, co movement the business cycle is recurrent but not periodic so the business cycle is recurrent recurrent means the business cycle keeps happening economies keep experiencing business cycle business cycles keep repeating or uh, they are recurrent but not periodic periodic means it's not that after every 3 years or after every 5 year after every 10 year the economy will experience a business cycle the period is not defined but uh, we also know that uh, business cycle is recurrent the recurrent it will happen but what will be the duration the duration is not uh, specified not known so recurrent means the pattern of contraction trough expansion peak occurs again and again so this uh, wave like movement in the aggregate economic activities will keep happening but uh, not being periodic 
means <clears throat> that it does not occur at regular predictable intervals. <clears throat> so intervals cannot be predicted. I mean, when a uh, recession will start and when it will end, uh, that prediction is not possible. The period is not known. So uh, although we know that uh, it keeps happening, but uh, at what time it will start, at what time it will end, that is unpredictable. <clears throat> the business cycle is persistent. Declines are followed by further declines. Growth is followed by more growth. It is not that in part, one particular uh, quarter if the economy has experienced uh, 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 positive, uh, uh, positive uh, indicators and uh, in the next quarter, again, it will uh, become worst. It is not like that. The business cycle is persistent. If economic activities are increasing, they will keep increasing further. And if they start dec decreasing, then this decrease will again be persistent. I mean, it will continue for, uh, you know, for years or, uh, you know, a quarter and quarter and quarter and quarter like that. Uh, so, uh, so business cycle is persistent. Declines are followed by further declines. Growth is followed by more growth. Because of persistence, persistence means uh, the change is not very frequent. So because of persistence, forecasting turning points is quite important. So, uh, so uh, when, uh, if, if, if economic activities are decreasing, uh, when they will again uh, start increasing, this is important uh, to identify the turning points. So econo econo economists normally uh, try to identify the turning points. Uh, say, for example, let me give you one example. Uh, one of the uh, one of the um, trend or one of the finding or evidence has been found in the literature that uh, uh, at the peak of the economy, evidence at the peak of the economy when economic activities are at its peak. Uh, a lot of IPOs are, uh, you know, issued in the market. IPOs, IPO. So I, when a lot of IPOs come in the market, so normally that time is the peak, peak of the, you know, economy, because uh, the positive sentiment in the economy is at the highest. And in recession, normally uh, IPOs don't come no company is interested in bringing its IPO and raising money from public in recession. But uh, when uh, uh, the sentiment is very euphoric, very positive sentiment, all companies start issuing their shares in the market that is called IPO initial public offering. All business cycles have features in common, uh, the cyclical behavior of economic variables, direction and timing. What direction does a variable move relative to aggregate economic variable? So if uh, there are uh, variables that are moving in the same direction as the aggregate uh, economic activity, uh, that movement is called pro-cyclical, pro-cyclical. So say, for example, if um, employment is also increasing and aggregate economic activity is also increasing, uh, so the direction is same. Uh, so we can call, the, uh, we, can, we can say that uh, employment indicators are a pro-cyclical uh, variable because it, me, it moves in the same direction Excuse as, me, uh, yes. So can you please repeat this? I just uh, missed out <clears> this part. Mm -hmm. um, say, for example, GDP. GDP is the aggregate economic activity measure. So if uh, there are hundreds of economic indicators, uh, so if a particular or single specific variable is moving in the same direction as the aggregate economic indicator, for example, GDP. So if the, the both are moving in the same direction, that movement is called pro-cyclical movement, pro-cyclical movement. 
say for example gdp is also increasing employment is also increasing so both are moving in the same direction both are increasing so this movement of uh, uh, you know variable is called pro cyclical movement and if the movement is opposite the aggregate economic activity is increasing uh, but uh, inflation is uh, decreasing let us take an you know uh, you know uh, a hypothetical example or or uh, or maybe say for example the stock market is decreasing so we can uh, also recent... take an example of price and demand over here na for counter cyclical no 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 uh, price and demand is mi micro economics um, uh, but uh, here in this case we are talking about the whole economy level uh, economy level say for example gdp is an economy level measure and employment is also economy level measure or uh, i mean all these uh, inflation inflation is also economy level so uh, some things uh, we have to think in terms of uh, aggregate economy so and in aggregate economy if two variables are moving in opposite direction if one is increasing another is decreasing that movement is called counter cyclical counter uh, counter cyclical and if two variables are not related with each other the movement <coughs> the, the movement in two variable is not uh, correlated with each other there is no clear pattern that they move either in same direction or in opposite direction it is not clear sometimes they move together some other times they may not move together so that situation is called that uh, movement is called a cyclical that uh, these two variables are not related say for example <clears throat> inflation and stock market there are studies that uh, that show that stock market is a good good hedge for inflation for inflation stock market in <clears throat> hedge means if inflation increases in the economy then stock prices will also increase so stocks act as hedge for inflation if we want to protect us if we want to protect if we want to save us from inflation then stocks is a good opportunity because studies have found that if if inflation increases then stock price stock prices also increase because stocks are also one asset class and inflation is nothing but increase in the prices so if prices are increasing uh, so share prices will also increase so there is a, you know positive uh, uh, positive relation between inflation and uh, stock prices so uh, so if stock prices are increasing uh, if inflation is increasing stock prices will also increase so the movement is pro cyclical so all these kinds of relationships are found uh, by research and by uh, by economists uh, there are various uh, you know indicators they try, they keep uh, trying to identify some pattern in the data so say for example inflation what is the relation between inflation and stocks what is the relation between gold and and inflation so initially people uh, gave example uh, people found that uh, gold is a good good uh, uh, you know hedge for inflation but then uh, it was found that stocks are better uh, hedge as far as uh, hedge of uh, hedge for inflation is concerned uh, on the basis so this was the classification on the basis of the relationship between two variables on the basis of direction if the movement in the direction is same uh, then those were the, the that variable or those variables are called pro cyclical and uh, if the movement is opposite uh, in that case uh, that variable is called counter cyclical and if there is no particular pattern between two variables uh, that 
variable is called as cyclical as cyclical because it is not related with other variable uh, and there is no pa uh, specific pattern whether positive or negative and as far as the timing of the variable is concerned all economic indicators can be uh, can be divided into three types some economic uh, indicators are called leading variables and some are called lagging uh, and some are called coincident leading indicators are those indicators or those economic variables that uh, come in advance so 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 when economy uh, starts starts going into you know depression uh, the gdp figure will come after you know 3 months or or after uh, you know 3 months but there are some leading indicators that may indicate that recession is going to start so say for example stocks stock market so stock market is considered as a leading indicator because before uh, you know the measures the uh, the long term economic measures start decreasing the stock market uh, already you know reacts to that information in advance <clears throat> so the stock market is called is normally called a leading indicator and coincident means <clears throat> uh, both happening at the same time so if both if there are two variables both are both are you know changing at the same time um, the time is same uh, then those variables are, are called coincident and if one uh, variable is changing after another one that is called lagging say for example uh, it has been uh, researched a lot in uh, in the in the in the uh, uh, literature that what is the relation between foreign institutional investors and stock market uh, and the research is uh, the the question is uh, when fii's come in the stock market then stock market starts increasing so what is the what is the uh, lagging uh, variable and what is the leading variable so and and the another another way it could be when stock stock market starts increasing then fii's uh, come in the market and start investing so so entry of fii is the leading variable or increase in the stock prices is the leading variable so jaise wo ek wo english mein kahawat hai ki kya hai tail uh, dog and tail whether the tail uh, is wedging the dog or the dog is wedging the tail so so this kind of research is also uh, normal in economics where uh, <clears throat> the lead and lag relationship is found if there are two variables or multiple variables uh, it is researched that um, which variable is the uh, leading indicator or leading means which comes first and which variable is the lagging uh, or which comes after so the change starts in which variable and and uh, then it uh, you know moves to other variable so some of the variables are leading variables and some other economic variables are called lagging variables and if if the change in two variables is co is happening at the same time uh, that situation is called coincident uh, that the change in both variable x and y is happening at the same time and if there uh, if the change is happening in one variable first that variable is called leading variable and then uh, the change comes to another variable that uh, variable is called lagging variable <clears throat> cyclical behavior of key macroeconomic variables coincident uh, ki example hai hai. coincident means uh, all happening at the same time so industrial production consumption business fixed investment employment some of the examples of leading economic variables is resident residential investment inventory investment 
एवरेज लेबर प्रोडक्टिविटी ग्रोथ मनी ग्रोथ स्टॉक प्राइसेस सो स्टॉक प्राइसेस इज आल्सो अ लीडिंग इंडिकेटर और लीडिंग वेरिएबल मनी ग्रोथ मनी ग्रोथ इज देर आर वेरियस मेजर्स ऑफ मनी ग्रोथ जस्ट टू कीप द अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेरी सिंपल जस्ट थिंक दैट हाउ मच लोन इज अवेलेबल टू द मार्केट so if the availability of loan if the cheap loan if the if the cheap loan is available it means money supply is uh, you know is is much so when uh, the government or the when central bank reduces the interest rate basically it is motivating uh, uh, investors and borrowers to borrow more money from banks so that increases the money supply uh, in the money in the in the economy so when people borrow money from bank then they invest that money so that is also one of the leading indicator that economic activities are going to increase then there are lagging variables for example inflation no middle interest yes, rates Hello? yes yes the leading uh, leading variables ka sir example aggregate demand ho sakta hai kya लीडिंग का एग्रीगेट डिमांड सो एग्रीगेट डिमांड भी हो सकता है हो सकता है लेकिन उसमें बहुत स्पेसिफिक आपको बात करनी पड़ेगी कि किस चीज की डिमांड जैसे कंसर्न इज आल्सो वन काइंड ऑफ डिमांड बट नो इट इज कोइंसिडेंट आई मीन कंजम्पन जैसे सेल ऑफ व्हीकल्स और सेल ऑफ से फॉर एग्जांपल रूरल व्हीकल्स जैसे ट्रक्स ट्रक्स बिकते हैं रूरल एरिया में फार्मर्स उसको यूज करते हैं तो अब आजकल जब से रिसेशन शुरू हुआ है ट्रक्स बिकना भी कम हो गए हैं तो इससे एक अंदाजा इकोनॉमिस्ट ये लगा रहे हैं कि रूरल इकोनॉमी में और भी ज्यादा स्ट्रेस है एज कम्पेयर टू दू नो यू नो अर्बन अर्बन एरिया so uh, yes uh, demand and consumption and ab uh, yahan tak main aapko batau ki uh, jaise ab recession aaya ab gillet gillet ki sale bhi kam ho gayi yani <laughs> blend bhi kam jo hai economy mein uh, sale ho rahe hain biscuit ka bhi jab uh, ye jo jab ko start hua uske baad se jitne ye jo uh, fmcg company hai uh, the sale in their biscuits and the sale itc hindustan unilever all these companies suffered uh, so that is example of demand i mean for biscuits demand for plates demand for you know basic things uh, so when demand a decreases then the uh, abnormal inventory increases jab cheezein sell nahi hongi to then profit of company decreases then companies have to produce at smaller level to kuch employees ko hatana hoga to employ employment bhi fir kam ho jata hai kyunki wo unka economic activities jitna pehle sell karte the they are not able to sell that so all these things are you know interrelated with each other to sir is case mein counter cycle jo hai leading variable ke andar aana chahiye sir that is resulting to the increase or decrease in the economic activity leading to nahi hai लीडिंग नहीं है नॉर्मली लीडिंग उसे कहते हैं कि अभी अभी इकोनॉमिक जीडीपी नहीं अभी जीडीपी सेम है अभी अभी ये लोगों को पता नहीं है कि रिशन आ गया है तो लेकिन कुछ इंडिकेटर्स ऐसे होते हैं जो पहले ही बता देते हैं कि आने वाला है उसको कहते हैं लीडिंग लीडिंग इंडिकेटर जब आ जाता है अब मान लीजिए नहीं बिक रहा है तो इसका मतलब की अब रिसेशन आ चुका लेकिन स्टॉक प्राइसेस में जैसे मार्च 2020 मार्च टू मार्च 2020 में स्टॉक प्राइसेस डिक्रीज बाय अराउंड यू नो 38 परसेंट और अराउंड 40 परसेंट तो देट वॉज एन यू नो लीडिंग इंडिकेटर कि अब इकोनॉमी में रिसेशन आने वाला है अभी कुछ अभी और कोई भी वेरिएबल अभी नहीं आया अभी जीडीपी का मेजर नहीं आया अभी इंडस्ट्रियल आउटपुट का भी नहीं आया अभी कितनी गाड़ियां सेल हुई हैं व्हीकल सेल हुई का भी डेटा नहीं आया लेकिन स्टॉक प्राइसेस पहले ही गिर गए तो इसलिए स्टॉक प्राइसेस को कहा जाता है कि वो लीडिंग इंडिकेटर है स्टॉक प्राइस लीडिंग इंडिकेटर है इसी तरह से मनी ग्रोथ यानी लोग बहुत ज्यादा लोन लेना स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं बिजनेसेस बहुत लोन ले रहे हैं तो इसका मतलब कि अब इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज इंक्रीज होने वाली है क्योंकि लोग बुलिश हैं वो लोगों का सेंटिमेंट 
पॉजिटिव है वो बोरो कर रहे हैं इन्वेस्टमेंट करने के लिए सो व्हेन दे विल कुछ इंडिकेटर्स ऐसे होते हैं जो एक्चुअल में रिसेशन या बूम आने से पहले ही बता देते हैं कि रिसेशन आने वाला है या बूम आने वाला है तो उनको लीडिंग इंडिकेटर्स कहते हैं कंजम्पन और ये डिमांड तो तो जब एक्चुअली आ जाता है तो फिर वो दिखना शुरू होता है तो इसलिए उनको कोइंसिडेंट वेरिएबल नॉर्मली कहा जाता है लीडिंग uh, नहीं कहा जाता काउंटर साइकिलिकल की एग्जाम्पल अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू टुमारो आल्सो अच्छा टुमारो तो फ्राइडे है तो ऑन मंडे thank you very much inshallah sir thank class. you sir thank you so much thank, thank you sir. thank you so much thank you sir thank you sir